Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your week ahead for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're just going to see who's coming towards you. This is, was my singles reading for Aries, uh, Leo, and Sagittarius, but as I was doing the single readings, I could see that this could resonate with people that aren't single, you know? So I've decided I'm going to go with that. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for um, now until the 20th, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's coming towards you? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ooh. Well, you could have be, somebody could be coming towards you that doesn't have good intentions, okay? Just saying. I mean, the King of Cups in reverse is a person that does not have good intentions. This person is not really emotionally available. This person is emotionally withdrawn, could be controlling, and full of shit. So I do apologize, but that could absolutely be the case. You know, this person could come off as, you know, being complete wish fulfillment, you know, selling you the world. I mean, this person, oh, look at all I have to offer. I have so much to offer when, in fact, their cup is truly empty. They don't really have anything to offer, but they can sell it. They, they're a good salesman, so beware. This person may have been re rejected from somebody recently and they just don't want to be alone. Be careful. Be careful. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be anybody else, but they're taking on these energies. Whoever this person is that is coming towards you does not have good intentions. They are emotionally withdrawn. Definitely. They may have gone through some sort of recent breakup or they're going through a midlife crisis right now. They just don't want to be alone. They really don't know how to communicate. Um, we're going to go like this. Now we're going to do it like this. Um, yeah, they've probably just gotten out of a situation. They're not happy. They don't want to be alone. Um... And they may think that you're vulnerable. They may think that you're vulnerable. They may think that you don't know your worth. They may think that you're easy. They may think that, you know, you don't know what you're worth, basically. They may, they, they may, they may prey on you. They may think that you don't have high self-esteem, that you don't have self-respect, that you don't have self-confidence. They may see, see you as being weak. I mean... I'm just telling you what these cards say. Oh, and you would, you know, I'm telling you what, this is an opportunity to avoid a disaster. This person has been through a shakeup in their life and they just don't want to be alone. Um, it's a false connection. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they are only hurt you. They will only hurt you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to give you this message, whoever this person is. Um... This person uh, is an energy thief, okay? They steal other people's energy. It's like a psychic vampire kind of thing. Um, it really is. It's a disaster waiting to happen. You guys ain't going to like this, are you? Whew. King of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Swords. You may not want to see it, though. You may be trapped because maybe you're the one that doesn't want to be alone. Somebody doesn't want to be alone here with that Hermit card reversed. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be anybody. But somebody is um, mentally trapped. Maybe they they think that, you know, if they stay put or if they don't see the truth then the truth really isn't the truth you know what I mean it's like I choose not to see the truth even though I know the truth oh man just because I'm lonely I you know I'll just pretend that this really isn't the truth because you know this person sells it real good I mean look at we got 10 cards here 
and we only got two uprights, one right here and one right here. There's an absence of integrity. There's an absence of honesty. There's an absence of love because there is no love in these cards except for love of ego, love of pride, love of me, myself, and I. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody who doesn't have anything true to offer you. Um, they are probably involved with another person or they just got out of something with another person and they're just looking to feed their ego. They are. They are. They're gonna, they're, they might come in and offer you the Golden Gate Bridge or offering you uh, whatever. Whatever they're offering you, it's not going to lead to success okay it's not going to lead to anywhere they really they don't have good intentions this person is just looking for attention that's it um there's no staying power it's false it's false i mean this is a false foundation it's a false um offer okay it, it looks really really good doesn't it it looks really 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 good but it looks really, really good. It looks like, oh my God, look at look at this. There is so much here. Are you ready? Are you ready to get drunk? Are you ready? Are you what you want? Maybe they want to get. Maybe they try to get you drunk. That could be the case. Do you want to uh, have some fun? You know, look at look at how much I have to offer. Just, I mean, it looks great. This looks like a really good time, doesn't it? It does. It looks like a really good time. But in reality, from the first card. To the last card, it's a trap. It's a trap. Trust me. So, it's probably a third party situation. Whoever this person is, they lack communication skills. It's not going to progress anywhere. Um, this person is an energy thief and it's a disaster waiting to happen. So, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but. I'd rather hear the truth than a lie, right? Yeah, and this is, this is, you could call this me. Knowing. Maybe it's you knowing. This is receiving guidance. This is somebody telling you the truth. This is somebody telling you what they see. This is a person who, who helps people to see the truth. To see things clearly. Whoever you're dealing with has secrets, and I think that you will know it instantly. Your intuition will probably tell you that something is off with this person. If you have to go to a tarot reader and ask a question, something is up. That is your inner guide. That is, that is you being poked by the divine. If you are being poked to ask a question about somebody that you are dealing with, you have a problem. Your intuition is poking you. It's saying something is up. Perhaps it's time to come up with a new plan. Maybe it's time to not invest in things that don't have any more growth, that don't grow, that have no potential for growth. There's no more room for it. There's no more space. What are you gonna what are you gonna do? It's overgrown. It is overgrown. There's there's no place else to go. There's there's the only thing to do is to dig it up and to go someplace else. So I really feel like you guys need to go someplace else. I feel like you are dealing with an overgrown uh, child, basically. Somebody who lacks integrity. Somebody that doesn't have moral backbone. Somebody that doesn't have anything stable to solid and solid to offer you. And, you know, you're going to have to really think about this. This person will come and go. They will not stick around. They will leave you in the cold. And they see you as being insecure. So you are probably see as prey, like I said. Um, this could be somebody from your past. Could be somebody that you know. Um, but they are definitely a dishonest individual. And they're not coming to you for the, for the truth. 
And you may not be seeing the situation clearly because maybe you have a connection with this person, you know? Maybe you've invested a lot of time and energy with this person. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you think this person is your soulmate. Maybe you think that. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, whatever, whoever this person is that's coming towards you, it's not honest, it's not truthful, and somebody's not seeing the situation clearly. And it's because they're lonely. There's loneliness here. There is, with the Hermit Reverse, there's loneliness. Driving somebody into the arms of a player. Page of Pentacles is a player. You got a player here. And I advise you to not hold on to it. Drop it. Let it go. I don't know who that is for. Let's get a couple of these. I think this person has somebody else. Maybe they've been rejected by somebody else and they want your attention and they're, they're filling you up with a pile of uh, bullshit. You know, they may come to you with alcohol thinking they're going to be easy. Whatever. There's no love here. There isn't no love here. There's memories of love, yes. But that's memories. That's what it is. Garden in the gate. It's like waiting, 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 waiting. Be patient. Be patient. Don't let your loneliness drive you into the arms of the wrong one, please. Your prayers have been heard. You need to start fresh. Don't let some player come into your life just because you're lonely. Keep, you wait. You sit there and wait for the right one. It's coming. Contract. And it, it was reversed, but I flipped it. Somebody's been holding on to a karmic contract. This that won't resonate with everybody, and it needs to be let go of. It's it's whoever this person is that's that is coming towards you. They don't have any balance and harmony to offer to you. It will end up being a one-sided relationship. So whatever. But this is a contract in which you need to open your eyes and see exactly what it is. Don't go into any contracts with your eyes closed. Be careful because you're dealing with somebody who does not have integrity. They do not have good intentions and it doesn't lead to anything solid and stable. There's no so solid stability here. None. There's dishonesty. There's lack of truth. And this person is here to steal your energy because they have been rejected by somebody else. And that's what I got. For you fire signs, I do apologize. Be patient. Don't let yourself be deceived by a salesman. Good luck.